after months of working strategic stunts and refining their round offs. I'm so excited that I want to run. <laughs> Like, I think I'm in a circle rush. Tonight, the Chi Town Cats perfected their last practice, ready to take these moves on the mat to the All Star World Open Championship in Orlando. It's like the, the big stage, and they're going to be there for the first time cheering and doing something that they love. The Southside nonprofit Chi Town Chicagoland Cheerleaders Mission to help nurture inner city youth through athletics and academics. The organization has been around for more than three decades, but this will be their first time on the world stage. We want our girls to be able to see that you can do anything. Six year old Savannah Orman is part of the younger cheer team, the Kitty Cats. Every time we go on stage, my whole crew starts shivering and get scared, but I just like, OK, let's go. The tiny tumbler has her bags packed, but may have to travel with two less members of her team. That made me sad because I really want to win. As well as other team members who simply can't afford to go. I was crying when I said I couldn't, when they said I couldn't go. This is kind of like a big competition for me, and I don't like want to miss out on this. So over the past few days, team leaders have been collecting donations online in hopes the whole team can attend. As long as we're having fun, doing the best that we can, and smell it and be a cheerful. That's the goal. The team has prepared two routines, but beyond sticking their landing, this moment is about sticking together. They love each other, they support each other, and we really want them all to go together. Please help my teammates, please. Kate Kogiran, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Well, she got okay. the final word, that's for sure, <laughs> sure on that one. Aww. You can imagine the frustration, though. They all want to go, and, and it's so difficult for the kids who are told that they just simply so can't. Sweet. Get this now. This yeah. morning, the group had raised only a small portion of its $5,000 goal. Tonight, they received more than $20,000. And we have just heard that moments ago, the team leader telling ABC7 she is overwhelmed by the public's generosity. She says that this extra money means that even more students in need can attend the competition this week. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.